Hi, everyone. Welcome to my live. I'm Julie Gilson, and I'm with StampingGala.com. I'm really happy you're here, and thank you for joining me a little bit later than normal. I was setting up for a craft show for this weekend, and we just got back. So anyway, thanks again. I have some really pretty projects for you today, and I'm using a stamp set, well, a bundle that I haven't used at all. It is in the um, holiday catalog, but it's being carried over. It's called Magical Meadow. It looks like this, and I don't know why, but I was kind of intimidated by it. But now um, I really like the results, how it, uh, the projects turned out. So I hope you do too. I have, um, these are suitable for Christmas cards or just a, a winter birthday. I think they're so pretty. But, and the color I'm using is Starry Sky, and I have a little bit of silver on here as well. And I, on this, it's a um, hand sanitizer. A lot of people love getting hand si sanitizers this time of year um, as stocking stuffers as well. So um, this is a really cute item that I think that you can make up a bunch of them. And if I'm not, um, if I'm still um, correct on this, these, the hand sanitizers are on sale now at Bed, um, Bath and Body Works. So you might want to pick some of those up. Oh, thanks, Nicole. I appreciate it. I mailed out your stamp set that you won the other day. Um, I mailed it yesterday, so you should get it shortly. Um, but before I get started, I do want to go through my 12 days of Christmas and give you a better look at those because they are really, really pretty. And the PDF for these are on my blog in the PDF store. So if you're interested, head over there to um, after this video to my uh, to stampingala.com at the top there's a tab called um, pdf store click on that and you can find the pdf in there for all of these projects even though it's the 12 days of christmas um it does i do have 15 projects because a few of the days i have two projects or two different sizes of boxes on those days so I'm going to try and go in order, but I know I'll probably mess up a little bit because um, I don't remember exact order. So first of all, um, I use the Joy of Christmas um, DSP. However, you can use any DSP for these projects. It really doesn't matter. It's just um, I put a survey out and this is what people wanted me to use. So I'm going to try and turn this over. This is what it looks like. And it's quite large. Let me take these out of here. These are little bottles of um, hot cocoa, a hot cocoa mix. So you can see this is nine inches all the way across. And it's a little caddy. And then I have the hot cocoa in here. And I just tied a bow on them. So that was day number one. Um, day number two are these really cute um, tags and they look like ornaments and you open them up and there you go and I have you can also use different DSP for these um, day number three let me see I think it was this but I'm not um, positive I have two different boxes here different sizes as you can see but you open them up and they fold open like that and they're wrapped as well with DSP so two different sizes. They're made the same way, but you get directions for both. Um, this is, I really like these too. These are little treat holders. They hold two Hershey bars, but they also hold a gift card in the front pocket. So you can see that I took the other one out here. It was a Chico's gift card. But anyway, these are really cute stocking stuffers or a neighbor gift, anything like that. Um, I'll show you this now. This was not um, this close in the, uh, this was towards more towards the end. But these are little gift cards and I love them. And the gift card slides right in here, okay? So in these flowers, I teach you how to make as well. Um, they're really cute if you can see them. They look almost like real flowers. Um, another day was this adorable box set. You can see they're quite large and um, two different size boxes. So you'll get both sizes in the um, PDF. So there you have that. 
um, this, I hope I, you know, I don't have the cards in here. I must have left them upstairs. That's okay. This box is a recipe card box. This is perfect for giving to somebody um, if they have a lot of cookie recipes for the holidays, or if you're going to a cookie exchange, you can make these up as gifts and then have the cards in there that people can put their um, cookie recipes on. Here's another one. This is a, a it says an eight by eight frame, but I measured it and it's 10 by 10. So I don't know why they say it's an eight by eight. But anyway, this is um, really pretty. It makes a great gift for somebody that has everything. Um, this was the last day. And I think these are adorable. These are um, little post-it notebooks. So an another great stocking stuffer. But there you have it. And look how different they look. Um, so these are a pretty gift as well. This one got a whole lot of attention when I posted these. These um, cute little note cards, Christmas cards. And I lined the envelopes. So they make a really pretty um, set. And you can make these as gifts as well. Okay. Another set of Christmas cards here. So I used the Merriest um, Trees bundle on this one. So these I think you'll like as well. And I think this is last one if I didn't miss any. Um, this is a door knocker um, gift for a neighbor or, you know, you can put it on your kid's um, doorknobs, um, bedroom doorknobs, but you just stuff it with um, treats like I have here, and you can see I have jingle bells and stuff on it. So I think that's 12 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that's the 12 days. So I hope you like those and you can find them again on my blog at stampingala.com and head uh, after this, you can head over to my blog. And if you're a member of my team, you get the PDF for free. So that's one of the perks of being on my team. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started here. All right, um, this first card, we're going to start with this one first. And like I said, this can be a Christmas card or you can use it as for a holiday or a um, winter birthday. Okay, so let me get started with this. Okay. Um, so this will be on my blog tomorrow sometime. I do have to leave the house early to go to a craft show. So I hope to get this done tonight. But anyway, this is um, Starry Sky and it's 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. Now on my sample, I have boho blue in the background here and I decided to change it. I didn't want it. Um, that color. So I changed it. But I do have two pieces of um, basic white. And the top one I embossed with the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. So we're going to put these two together. And let me, I hope my glue is good here. It is. So if you hear anything in the background, it's like a Santa's workshop down here. Everybody's working on the craft show stuff for tomorrow still. Okay. So we're going to put this on and I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap a ribbon around this. And Margaret, I did send out all your stuff today, too. And this ribbon is beautiful. You want to get your hands on this before it's gone. I don't even know the name of this ribbon. It's 
silver and white it's called that was creative <laughs> okay so we have this i'm going to trim it off okay and i'm also taking our um ribbon here and i'm going to add a ribbon a bow around here as well for some more color And this is Starry Sky Ribbon as well. Okay. Also, ladies, if you're a customer of mine and you're not working with a current demonstrator, I did order the catalogs today and for the um, for my customers and they'll be shipped directly to your home so you can expect them the middle to late december stampin up will be sending them out so um watch for those and the celebration catalog it's quite nice i have to say i think you'll like it i was really surprised at some of the selections in the um celebration catalog they're very very nice okay so we're gonna move this down a little bit just like that and put this right on here now ladies if you want these make and takes just make sure that you place an order a minimum forty dollar order by um, Sunday and you'll get these make and takes sent to your home Okay, so there you have that. And then let me grab some, I didn't grab any scrap white paper. Thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so we're using the Starry Sky ink. And winner um, wishes. So we're just going to stamp this on here simple and i'm using the nested essential dies so i use the second smallest here to die cut this and it looks like this okay so then let's see i'm also using believe it or not some halloween paper you can see on the back it has bats but i love the the pattern on the front. It's just a simple stripe. So what I'm doing, I just cut a piece and I rounded the corners to match the die here. All right. So I'm going to put this on with glue first. Oh, and Margaret, thank you so much for my birthday card. I really appreciate it. All right, so this is going on here. Okay, and then I die cut this, so that's going to go on with dimensionals. And I'm just putting them in the corners. And it'll act kind of like a bridge right over top of the ribbon. Okay, just like this and center it right above, just like that, okay? All right, now if you notice on here, oh, I should have put this down first. I'm sorry, I gotta take this off. Um, I forgot I added this at the last minute. I um, took some of the ribbon and I took it apart, okay? I'm gonna put some, um, let me put a dimensional, right in the center here okay 
and you'll see why in just a second. So I took some strands of this, this ribbon and I'm just pulling them out a few at a, uh, one at a time. So it gives it, I like the look here. So what I'm going to do is just tack it down on there on the, um, what do you call it? The dimensional and it, it's going to be messy and that's how I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back down. Centered right above. It just gives it a little bit of texture. There. See what I mean? All right. So now if you look here, I have a few different um, elements here that I die cut. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So this one first I die cut. And I'm just going to trim some of it off because we don't need all of that. And also I have one of the white pieces. I'm going to trim that as well. So we're going to put some glue towards the bottom. I'm going to put the white, basic white one on first. And these are in the, the die set to match this the coordinating dies, okay? So I'm just going to slide this right here. And I do want it kind of floating up a little bit, but I do want to put a tiny bit more glue so it doesn't get ripped off. Okay, so then I'm going to take this blue, uh, the Starry Sky one. I did, Margaret. It was a great, a great day. Okay, and then this one, I'm just going to slide in here as well just like that. Okay. And then I die cut some of the silver pieces. And these were in the online exclusives. And I'm just putting the two. All right. So far, so good. All right. And then I have, I did this one again. in. I did it the first time in white. This time I'm doing it in starry sky. I'm just going to clip it off here a little bit. I don't need all of that. Put some glue on the back. And just going to lift this up and slide it under. And finally, I'm going to take a piece of the silver. Everything looks, um, I heard this today, when in doubt, bling it up. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Pull that one right out. And then this one's going to go over top of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some, some diamonds here. I don't have my trusty tool there. Okay, so, so far, this is the outside of your card. It's simple, but it's beautiful. Okay, so on the inside of the card, I'm just going to do a simple stamp. I'm going to take this stamp here. Just stamp it off to the side. All right. Now, ladies, again, here is my host code for this week. So if you want these make and takes, Please make sure that you use that host code when ordering. All right, so we're going to glue these together and we'll be good to go.
Okay, so here is your first card. I hope you like it. All right, so we're going to move on to the second card, the second project, and it looks like this. So let me bring that stuff in. Okay, so this card is the other orientation. It is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Thanks, Margaret. I appreciate that. Okay, so I have that folded over. And then what I have here is a piece of basic white that is four and five eighths by three and an eighth or three and three and three eighths and four and five eighths. And then I have a piece of DSP, which is um, four and a half by just two. So I'm going to glue this on the bottom portion of this basic white piece. All right, so then I took a piece of basic white again, and this one is a four and a half, and I believe I cut it at three. And then I took the basic border dies. I used this die right here, and I just offset it. So I ran it through the die cut machine like this. And then I embossed it with the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. So now I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back because I want this part elevated a little bit. So ladies, I appreciate you sharing this video um, on Facebook and Pinterest because that helps me to reach a larger audience and continue doing what I do here on Thursday nights. So I appreciate your um, help with that to get the word out. Okay, so I put this on here, all right, and you know, I want to move it over just a tiny bit because I don't want that part showing. Just had to shimmy it over just a tiny bit. All right, so now this is going to be on dimensionals as well. One thing I do want to point out, too, is I do offer gift certificates for Christmas gifts. So if you're interested, if you have a stamper on your, or a crafter on your um, holiday gift list and you'd like to purchase a gift card for them, let me know and I can send it to you um, via email so you'll have it ready. And um, I'm sure that your recipient will love it and they would just contact me to place the order. And you can get the gift certificate in any amount that you'd like. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. Oh, Nancy, that's awful. I had that, well, I had it yesterday, but um, they already reactivated my card, so I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so next, oops, next we're going to do some stamping, and I'm just going to stamp this image here. 
Isn't that pretty? That winter scene. Okay, so then what I did was I took the circle. I don't even, um, the stylish shapes, the circle die, and I die cut that out. Okay. And I'm going to place it on a silver. This is a two and a quarter inch circle. And this is adhesive back to the um, silver glimmer. It came in a pack of silver and gold together. But in some, case, in some cases, I leave the um, backing on. Okay, so see how pretty that looks? Just a touch of silver in the background. So I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Let me just cut some of these apart. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here. All right, just like that. And then I have some pieces here that I die cut using the same dies. And this is um, Starry Sky. So I'm just going to, let me see, I'm going to cut this off here and cut this one off here as well. And what I'm going to do is just place them like that on, on both sides. But I do need to put some adhesive under here. Just like that. Same thing over here. Okay, and then I have some more of the silver, oops, the silver pieces here. I'm just going to stick this under as far as I can get it. It adds just, um, it's so pretty, just a little bit of glimmer. Okay, what do you think? All right, and then let, let me add some bling and a bow, and then this one will be done. I like to slide them a little bit under as well, just, just for a different look. And I also like to mix the sizes. Okay, so let me grab the ribbon. Hey, Kathy, I hope you're doing well. what I do with my glue dots. <laughs> Steph, do you see my glue dots? 
Well, I don't know where my glue... Oh, here they are, right in front of my face. And they're not even mine, they're hers. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this on here. And put that down. All right. So, so far, so good. I think I'm going to leave the other ribbon off on this one. I'm. Which one do you like? With... With the double ribbon, with the blue on there, or just the silver? I'm just curious. Okay, and then we're going to stamp the inside, and then this card will be done as well. And you can add Merry Christmas or Happy Birthday, whatever you want to do. I just think this is so pretty. Well, Jerry, that's exciting. Nothing's better than being a grandmother, but I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'll ever be a great grandmother. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this in here. Diane, I got your card today, too. Thank you so much. You did a great job. It's beautiful. Okay, so this is going to go on here. So here is your second card. I hope you like these. Okay, so lastly, we're going to make this cute little... Um, tr um, it's actually a hand sanitizer. Okay. Hey, Tina. Okay. So let me bring this in and you'll be surprised at how easy this is. Okay. So I have a strip of paper cardstock. This is Starry Sky and it's two by 11 and I scored it at three and a half five and a quarter, and eight and three quarters. So I'm just going to fold on the score lines. Okay, so it's going to go like this. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to round the corners at the top. This is the, um, the flap. Now you can round the other corners too. It really won't make a difference one way or another. Okay. All right. So then I have a piece of DSP and the DSP is two by two and a quarter. So if this is um, this looks like it should be going um, in this direction. So this is the top because of how the pattern is. So be mindful of that if you're using a certain DSP that is directional. Okay, so we're going to um, put this in here and round these corners as well. Kathy, I'm so glad to hear that. All right, so then this is going to go on here. Okay, so let me put some glue on here. Okay. All right, so then I just have, I try to get, when I give it as a gift, I try to get it matching um, the same colors. It just looks nicer. So what I do is I'm going to put a dimensional behind the lid here, just right there. Oop. Just like that. And also I'm going to put... Um, some dimensionals on the bottom just to hold it in place. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put this on like, like that. Okay, and then if you notice this um, place right here, that's where it's going to go. So I'm just going to kind of center it from side to side. And then it's going to stick on the back so it doesn't move around and you don't lose it. Okay, then this is going to come down like that. All right, so what you can do is you can take this and just put a little glue dot so this stays closed because you really don't need a velcro they're gonna take it out of here and be done with this packaging I can get the glue dot off of here there you go okay and just make sure that it's um, you you have it squared up perfectly okay so so far so good then I'm gonna take this silver ribbon and tie it around and I'll lay it down so I can get it better and the sentiment I'm putting on here says for you and it's from the sending cheer stamp set the one with the little um gingerbread man and stockings it's a cute set if you don't have it you want to get that let me just trim this off now if you joined us late make sure that you check out the beginning of the video because i showed my 12 days of christmas on there okay so all right, we're going to stamp this for you on just um, basic white cardstock. And here are the dies. And oh, I left the die up there. So I did die cut it already. And it looks like this. Okay, let me close this up so I don't get that all over. All right, so I'm going to grab my ribbon here. Oops. Let's see if I can get it in here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to tie this on. Just slip it right under the bow here okay look how pretty that is all right so then we're just going to stick some diamonds on here just for a little more interest and your project is done is that easy or what okay so these are your projects for today I hope you like them I think they're so pretty um, and let me pull these in so these are your projects ladies um, if you would like these make and takes please make sure that you um, place your order by Sunday, a minimum $40 order, and uh, please make sure you have this um, host code on there so I can credit you to receive these um, make and takes. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed it, and check out the beginning if you missed it because I showed all of my 12 days of Christmas a better, um, give you a better look at them. So Thank you so much and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.